Thousands of thousands of women are raped every day. While we're speaking, there are still many women being raped or subject of sexual gen gender-based violence or their displacement uh, and, 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 and lots of other kinds of humiliation. We believe it is the primary and moral responsibility of every member state to protect its citizens, especially the most vulnerable. So we're going to make sure that we work with all member states to be able to address this problem and to ensure that the focus is no longer on the victims, it's also on the perpetrators, and to send a clear message to them that there is no hiding place, that wherever you go, we will go after you, we'll make sure that you're prosecuted, and that will ensure to be able to provide protection and safety nets for women who have been affected by sexual violence during conflict. We're working hard on the Security Council on Syria, but we are in a, an impasse uh, with two members of the Security Council about the way forward. We will continue to discuss that. I'll discuss these issues with uh, my colleague, the Russian Foreign Minister, tomorrow. Uh, Sergey Lavrov, we will keep talking about it. I'm sorry, I think that's all we have okay, time for. Uh, thank you very much. The stories of the women on the ground are taken. Those of us who are in the forefront, forefront of the work are invited back here. But when it comes to actual doing, you don't find it. When it comes to funding for their work, we don't find it. When it comes to holding governments accountable, accountable we don't also find those things happening. It's very uncomfortable to talk about rape because men get all agitated and they, they you know, oh my God, they're going to think I might be a rapist. If you're not a rapist and you don't have intention to be a rapist, stand up and say, I will not be silent in the face of rape.